All right. Back, back at it. Um, Transformer Yard. That means there's electric things that you can kill yourself on or electrify zombies on. Electrify zombies? Mm-hmm. Or whatever Spoilers. these guys are called. Now, do you have to use motion controls and hold down like five buttons at once to climb between the wires in the transformer yard? No. The Xbox is, uh, it's really far behind the other two consoles as because it doesn't offer motion controls yet. Oh, so what you're saying is when Natal comes out, they're going to offer DLC for this? That Dude, when Natal comes out, you're going to have to actually crawl around on the ground <laughs> underneath <laughs> invisible wires. Like a fucking dog. Fracking dog. Yeah. It's like this guy. Lights out. Oh, wow. Yeah. He so as soon as you see him, just light, shine your light on him. Mm -hmm. So you, yeah. Otherwise, you have to actually fight him. Wait, I, I don't get why he died. He hit the wires. Yeah, okay. I pushed him back. And if you shoot, oh. if you shoot, like if you uh, put the light on him and shoot him, he like goes back right into it. Even if his darkness isn't. Oh yeah, that thing just takes him out. And there's like an achievement for getting like twenty indirect kills. Uh huh. That would be. I think that's considered an indirect kill. I would imagine the explosive barrels are indirect too. Yeah. So, I've been playing this a little bit more. I just finished Chapter 2. Mm -hmm. You, well, we were talking before about how hard it's going to be to get the achievement for... I like how he closed the door behind him. <laughs> yeah. back up. Yeah. Um, uh, the achievement for dodging those things, getting those like slow motion mm -hmm. dodge moves. I found it's incredibly easy to get to activate those slow motion things when, if you're dodging uh, something that's being thrown at you. Um, just kind of stand in one place, like watch the guy throw it, and then basically as soon as it leaves his hands, tap dodge, and you should. Get the cinematic dodge? Get the cinematic dodge, yeah. I'll have to keep that in mind, but uh, I didn't do this on explicit D, so I don't care about achievements. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah. So I think this uh, walkthrough has kind of been slacking on our drinking. Mm -hmm. But I got a beer. We have a keg due to John's failure to beat the world record of consecutive first-person shooter playing. Uh, yes, in hours. In hours. In hectares. So I'm having a Bud Light thanks to that. I'm pretty okay. sure it's a Bud. So there's two bears coming at you. This one you want to take out first because he walks right in front of that thing. This guy doesn't go quite as in front of it, so I was trying to push him back right there. Because uh -huh. even if you shoot him, while well, he still has the darkness, which makes him invincible to bullets, mm -hmm. it can move him back. Right. Now, <clears throat> did you think of, like, kind of walking parallel to the ones on the side, and then, like, um, kind of spinning around him and then shooting him back into that? No. I was just mainly concerned at least getting one of them into the... I was talking about the second one. I know. Oh. The first one was my main concern, just getting one of them into the power. Okay. And then, you know, they're not as threatening when they're solo. So there's these weird chairs throughout the game that have stuff on them. That's an odd place for a nice chair. Like oh, that. you should see the coffee thermos guide. Mm -hmm. There's a chair that's just out in the middle of nowhere, like overlooking a cliff. With a thermos on it, hmm. it's it's pretty strange. They remind me of the Matrix for some reason, like the chair Morpheus sits in. Yes, when he offers him the red or blue pill. Mm -hmm. So there is a uh, a nightmare manuscript page right here to the left by the school bus. So just take a look at that, and. Then after this, we get to ride the crazy Bridge of Doom. <laughs>